So before you start this DIY, you're going to want to find any kind of a vessel that's capable of holding two cups. I personally love using mason jars, but you could use any kind of a reusable glass jar or even a plastic bag if you don't have anything. That'll definitely work. First off, you're going to want to tear your jar on the scale. Then grab a funnel or make one out of parchment paper like I will. Then you're going to want to go in with 200 grams of sugar. You're going to want to tear your scale again, make sure it's teared out at zero. Then scoop on top 40 grams of cocoa powder, 64 grams of all purpose flour on top of that. Then top it off with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. I think this makes a great gift for you or for a friend. Alternatively, you can do the same thing in one bowl. You're going to want to put in your sugar. Cocoa powder. all-purpose flour salt and the baking powder Sift it all together and scoop onto jar. This one I've done up with some string, cloth over top, and an instruction tab along with the contents of the jar on the back. Then when you decide it's time to bake, you start by chopping up a quarter of a cup of butter, or four tablespoons of butter, then you melt that and set it aside to cool. Then in a separate bowl, you crack two eggs, pour your vanilla over top, and whisk together. Then add your oil in and whisk some more. Next, slowly, you're gonna wanna sprinkle over your dry ingredients that are sifted. 
Then you fold together until the mixture is mostly together. Then you can stir in the cooled melted butter over top. And make sure the batter is completely combined and pour into a prepped 8 inch square pan. Brownie batter goes in for about 20 to 22 minutes. Set the timer for 22 minutes. Then you know they're ready to come out of the oven when there are a few crumbs left on a toothpick. All right, bakers, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go and share some of this with my friend Carolyn. I'm gonna trade her some of this brownie mix for some of her fresh rosemary. All right, get out there and bake the world a better place. Until next time.